Hey there everybody, this is Eric from Outer Limitless. And it's Carlos from Daily Carry Solutions. We're here in Atlanta today to cover Blade 2019. Now there is a lot of material to cover between June 7th and June 9th. These three days have a lot coming, so stay tuned. You're gonna like it. I want a European uh, dress competition, he was like, I want to make a tactical So Beretta gave him some money. Three, full track. Battlefield pickup. Full track? I'll, I'll check out the full track. Uh, if I can get one of these, uh, let me see the, the, the slicers. Let me get that. Uh, actually, in the red G10, that would be awesome. That's that working finish you guys have there. Yep. Sorry about the lighting. No, no, no. I mean, it is what it is. I can always put a little old light on my head, if anything. Snappy action. What do you call that finish? Battlefield pickup. It is a numbered series. Wow, okay, cool. And the valley. Right, there you go. I wow. pulled it out. I knew I had, that one was next. Well, it's funny. I'm, I, I, uh, I'm not really too versed in the butterfly knives and valleys and stuff like that. But I had no idea, Hinder. I mean, this is, a, am I, is this a new model, a new style for this year? Brand new, yeah, brand new release this year. He made some back in the day. Um, it was called the Fire World. There were like six or seven of them, very limited. But this is the a new release for Blade Show. Very nice. Now, uh, what, what Blade Steel? S35 BN. Okay, all right. There's a inside there. I'm, I'm being very careful because I'm not, I'm not a valley guy. I would never, I don't think I'll ever be a valley guy. But in all honesty, there's just a fascination with these. You see kids and they go through them, and they're not even trainers. I mean, we were in the pit last night, and you know, kids were going in. I mean, it was just, yeah. and I was like, wow, I just couldn't help but gravitate over there and just watch them do the tricks and just the flips. And I mean, you know, to think that this could get you. And I've seen people get get cut really well with them, but yeah. I gotta I gotta tell you, this is a this is a beautiful design, and it's nice to see you know Hinderer back at it with these. As far as the scale color, um, are they going to be offering other colors such as uh, other than the blue? Or um, we have six different finishes currently. Um, in the next few batches, he's talking about doing some G10 inlays or carbon fiber inlays. The six customs he released at the beginning of the show did have some of those inlays and stuff in them. I'm sure those went really quick. Those did go quick. Yep, yeah. he did six customs for the beginning of the show. They were they were gone pretty quick. Beautiful. I mean, this is this is an iconic design slimmed down. This is uh, this is the three inch blade uh, in red G10. Um, I like the fact that it's it's nice and grippy without being too overbearing. I mean, I felt some that just they feel like they're going to destroy pockets. And this may in time, you know, but I mean, that's what this is for. This is to keep it in place in your hand and I mean, great action. You know, it feels great in the hand. Believe it or not, I actually like smaller blades. So this hits at home. I know you guys have the three and a half. Yeah. And you have this one. I mean, and I've always really, really liked this look. And I've wanted to see one in red G10. Because uh, I've seen other ones. One. Yeah, I've seen them in gray. I've seen them in brown. I believe you guys have them in, in an olive color. Um, you got, are you guys offering them in, in any other colors other than the red? Uh, these, uh, we have are, a whole rainbow of colors. If you don't like the G10 on your knife, they sell for $65 separately, and we can get you whatever color you need. Great, okay. All right, sounds good. And this is the vintage series. This is 01 tool steel. It has been uh, parkerized and have a nice Amish made leather shoes for them. It's beautiful. 